Homeland Security Act is under fire. This protest isn't about terrorism or security. Rather, it has to do with an invisible and very mysterious enemy, the disease autism. CNN's Kathleen Koch joins us live with the details. Kathleen? Kara, the debate is over a provision that was included in the Homeland Security Bill. It limits liability for the makers of vaccine additives. But that provision infuriated the families of children with conditions like autism or mental retardation. Many of them came to Washington today. And these conditions apparently appeared after the children received vaccines. And so the families believe they were caused, at least in part, by the shots. One of the greatest defenders of the measure, though he has not claimed authorship, is Senate Majority Leader Bill Frist. And families today begged him to help change the measure and find out what's sickening their children. Something is poisoning our kids. Let's be honest, Senator Dr. Frist, and admit that you don't know what it is. That it could be vaccines, thimerosal, groundwater contamination, smokestack mercury from old industrial plants. Help us find out what it is. Several lawmakers, both Democratic and Republican, were so upset about the measure that they got promises from the Republican leadership after the Homeland Security Bill passed to have this lawsuit limit measure stripped out in the new year. They remain livid that it was ever inserted at all. Because this is a major scandal. The drug companies gave over millions of dollars in campaign contributions in the last election cycle. Eli Lilly. One of the top contributors gave $1.6 million. This government should not be for sale. That's right. The rights of our children should not be for sale. At this point, there is no definite scientific link between these vaccines and autism, though some studies have found there are limited cases of hypersensitivity to certain vaccines. Vaccine makers like Eli Lilly and companies say that with the growing threat of bioterrorism, drug companies have to be able to develop new vaccines without the specter of billions of dollars of litigation hanging over their heads. And that's why they say that this provision in the Homeland Security Bill is so important, though they insist that they had nothing to do with its insertion. Kira. Kathleen Koch, thank you. You bet. When we come back, meet a fast thinking high school.